Squash. Like Mama always said, it's one of those things that's good and good for you. The different varieties have their own flavors and all have nutrients to help with health. So let's talk squash with Kowalski's nutritionist, Sue Moores. Thanks a lot for joining us, Sue. Hello, Chris. Good to be here. All right, I'm curious. You have a bunch of squash varieties you want to tell us about. Get to it, please. There are some. I've got just a handful here. There's probably about 12 to 15 different varieties that you can get in a grocery store. They are all different, I think, but they sort of fit in this family of really mild tasting squash or mild and sort of sweet. And then you can make them savory or more sweet or whatever. But one of the fun ones that I don't think folks know enough about is the spaghetti squash. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's got, uh, when you cook it, it's got what really looks like noodles. And that's definitely different tasting than something like the butternut squash, which we're going to work with today. I thought you were going to hurt your back lifting that basket. Those are absolutely huge. Now, you mentioned they taste different. If somebody like myself who doesn't have a very refined palate, would I still be able to taste the differences between these winter squash? You know, it kind of depends on how you make it. If you put in some very light flavors to it, I think you would taste the difference. But something like a spaghetti squash, you're probably going to put on maybe a marinara or whatever, and then you lose a little bit. It will disguise, I guess, a little bit of the flavor of the squash. But with this butternut squash recipe we're taking, you get the full flavor. And it's really this wonderful sort of earthy, but sweet, and I don't mean dirt, but earthy, sweet tasting flavor that I think almost everybody should, could like. And what about nutrients? What kind of nutritional value does a squash have? They are powerhouses, so they have a lot of, a ton, like 200% of the vitamin A that you need in a day. They have vitamin C, fiber, potassium. I think the biggest thing to, in a bunch of phytonutrients to know about is that what they're good for is your heart, your brain, your skin, your eyes, and that bones and all, that all important immune system, which we're all really keen on keeping as strong as possible. All the nutrition that's in the squash is super great for a strong immune system. Wow, I feel like I should go eat a squash after that. Pretty nutritional there. Hey, <laughs> why don't you tell us a quick recipe that you have? Yes, I've got a butternut squash arugula salad. And I will say that one of the barriers for a lot of people is it's without a sharp knife and a good bicep, some of these are pretty hard to crack into. So if you don't want to, we've got an easy lift with buying it already packaged and cut and diced. And so you would take one of these packages and put it in a bowl with a little drizzle of some olive oil, some red pepper flakes and salt and pepper. And then you're gonna throw this in the oven at 425 for about 20 to 25 minutes. And once it comes out, here it is. And you put this in a bowl and mix it up, let it cool a little bit. But then you're gonna mix it up with some pomegranate seeds. And I don't know if you enjoy those at all. Have you had much on the pomegranate front? Oh, I love pomegranates. Yeah, I love it. They're a little hard to get out of the actual pomegranate, but once you get it, the reward is worth it. As luck would have it, you've got you covered, Chris. Already packed and picked. I like it. But Otherwise, you can uh, do that yourself, which I admire greatly. And we've got um, half a cup of that in there, as well as some walnuts. And then the dressing is super simple. It's just fresh orange juice, fresh lemon juice, and a little bit of walnut oil. And if you don't have that, you could use a canola oil or a grapeseed oil, just sort of that low light flavored dressing or oil. You put all of that together, stir it up, and then we're just going to put it on a lovely plate of fresh arugula and you can make it as a side dish or you could put a little bit of chicken on top or a fish that you like and it becomes a main meal. But the secret ingredient, one more step here, is to use pomegranate molasses and that you can find in the baking aisle, but that brings it home with just this really nice tart sort of topping to it all. So a little bit of the molasses on top and there you go. A really pretty easy dinner. Mm. That's awfully great for you. Mm. Sounds fantastic. Why don't you send one of those over care of Chris Ledeen to care 11. Thanks a lot, Sue. Learned a lot from you today. You bet. I'm on it. Take care. Yeah, you too. And you can get all of Sue's recipes. All you have to do is text 4 p.m. to the number on your screen and you'll get a direct link. Remember that number is to text, not call.